can I show you guys something? Here is what Baker Mayfield said when he was asked if he believed he was the best quarterback in this year's NFL draft. Absolutely. And if you don't have that mindset, then, then something's wrong. Everybody else is probably thinking the same thing. Yeah, I think it's funny. People blasted Baker Mayfield for this. They just went after him. People said, Baker Mayfield is cocky. He's arrogant. He's not, as some people said, quarterback <laughs> Come on. How is, how is Baker Mayfield supposed to answer that question? Yeah, you know what? Uh, here, here's his answer. You know what? Sam Darnold is better than me. And, uh, you know, I'm just a weak-armed quarterback who's really short. Come on, give me a break. How, when you ask a guy, are you the best quarterback in this year's draft, what do you want him to say? It's not. How do you answer that? What's most funny to me, though, is people who are saying, they call, they call Baker Mayfield arrogant. Some people do this. They call Baker Mayfield arrogant, and yet they love Josh Rosen. It's like, what? There's no consistency there. Listen to this. I think I'm the best quarterback here. Uh, I think I... Uh, uh, I think I can diagnose defenses and put the ball where it needs to be and make quick decisions. Um, and I think uh, we're all competitors, and, and uh, I think every other quarterback should uh, have the same exact belief that I do. Yeah, I have no problem with that. I don't care. But how can you dislike one and not the other? It's the same exact thing. There's a double standard happening here. What? The, the same answer. In fact, I think Josh Rosen's was more direct I'm the best quarterback in this year's NFL draft. I'm the best quarterback here. Look, I have no problem with someone who believes in themselves, and I can't believe people do. I can't believe people are criticizing a, a young quarterback for having faith in himself. It's ridiculous. A buddy of mine I played against in high school, good friend of mine, we, we played Fortnite together, actually. Um, he was recruited to college with me. I played at a small school, and my buddy wanted to play at a big-time college football school. So what he did was he walked on, and one coach who recruited me called him cocky, called him arrogant. And this stuck with me because I didn't believe, I'll say it his name, I didn't believe Nate was arrogant. I was like, he just believes in himself and he wants to succeed. The best part about Nate was this. Nate walked on to a Division I football program and made it. And last year, I watched Nate play on television. <laughs> I know there's a fine line between cocky and confident, and, and you can look, if go look at my old personal YouTube channel. I actually interviewed him once. You got to be confident. You cannot be confident and make it. You can't be doubting yourself and make it. It doesn't happen. Like, to do strong opinion sports, you think I could survive if I wasn't confident? I, so my brother died once, and I had someone comment, I hope your other brother kills himself too. Well, <laughs> if, I was, if I didn't have thick skin, if I didn't believe in myself... I couldn't make it. I get horrible, awful comments. And you got to be confident. How can you criticize a guy for believing in himself? I, I understand there's that fine line, and some people go way past it. Like, I wouldn't go around telling people, I'm the best broadcaster in my college. But of course I believe that. You got to believe that. I, I have no problem with Josh Rosen or Baker Mayfield's attitudes. Again, that's what they're supposed to believe. They should believe they're the best quarterback in this year's NFL draft. And to criticize them for believing that, that's silly and that's dumb. Especially to criticize one of them, but not the other. That's the double standard I, I don't understand. Maybe, maybe you have a principle in life. I don't like people who are confident. That's fine if that's your belief. But you can't hate one and like the other. That's a weird double standard. I will not tolerate, cannot stand for that. That's weird. I do not like it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help me grow a strong opinion sports, share a link to this on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. If you understand Reddit, I have no idea. If you want to help me grow strong opinion sports, share this with your friends. And if you really love strong opinion sports, if you love strong opinion sports as much as I do, you can subscribe to strong opinion sports on iTunes, on SoundCloud, on Google Play, and on YouTube. Tell your friends about strong opinion sports and subscribe if you'd like to. Have a great day. Thank you so much.